Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna talk about more market crashing, more things dropping, meta cards still falling or maintaining a low price, and SBC fodder still maintaining a crazy high price because of the major SBCs we have had in the past couple days. And again, just talk about how this market feels in the moment and look ahead towards a possible Thursday flipping investment scenario where I'm really not feeling too good. If the past couple weeks haven't gone good with Thursday flips and we have this stuff going on in the game right now, I wanna just kinda of talk through some certain things and it depends on what happens today on Wednesday with the new team of the week and stuff like that. But um, there's also some what if games cards that have games today so we'll talk about that as well man of the matches are going out of packs and the team of the week is getting renewed we'll look at a couple predictions as we usually do but overall i again just want to talk about what this one sbc has done to the market because it has literally sent people's clubs uh this player pick pack in the mid prime this sbc right here have literally sent people's clubs foot clubs into bankruptcy i'm not even kidding there are people i've seen share plays of guys that have like 400 coins i mean it looks like i'm broke right now that i've submitted everything in my club i really just have three million coins on my transfer list but people's clubs are dry from this pick the high rated cards people have been you know they've destroyed their clubs people are turning in robins and clibers and flashback ronaldo's for this sbc it is unbelievable the amount of pull and hype that this has. And I don't even want to think about when we get towards team of the season or later on in the year, when EA drops like a prime icon player pick only, or they drop a prime or or moments player pick. I, I don't even know if that's possible, but if and when that comes out, that's going to be one of the most stupidly priced SBCs as well. The fact that this one is 1.2 mil alone right now is jokes anyway. I mean, I think I talked about it on last night's video that this is like... If there was a threshold for Prime Icon moments and Prime Icon SBCs back in FIFA 19, then there should be a threshold for a upgrade pack SBC. There should not be upgrade pack SBCs, no matter what cards you're getting from them, that, you know, 1.2 million coins? How many mids or primes are actually above that? Now, to be honest, it's a player pick. So you get three options. So sometimes you do get some pretty cracked out stuff. And that is why I do think you see the demand coming from this packs. But I just want to talk about, again, how this is affecting the market. This is just taking so many coins and so many of people's assets in their club off of the game, right? You, you, we've seen, we've seen, you've seen, we've all seen the prices dropping. Moments Javi, 2.6, that's crazy low. Neymar, 641, Mbappe is 843, that's up a little bit. Gold Ronaldo is under a million coins with his new dynamic image. Really, really cheap, right? He's down like over 100,000 coins on the weekend. Um, and you look across the entire market and almost every single card is down. Cantona Moments is 7-1, that's so cheap. Um, you know, Varane Gold, it goes from gold cards, it goes to these future stars. Some of the most meta cards in the game, like this center back Kyle Walker, 1.1 mil. Uh, a lot of these cards have continually dropped and continually fallen in price just because people do not have the coins that they once did. They sold cards to do this pack and now they can't really buy them back. So what does that mean for the market going forward for today? Well, of course, today, uh, we have some what if cards that are in action. So there's a lot of people that have invested in these. We'll talk about that for a second. But I want to talk Thursday rewards for a bit because I know that's coming up tomorrow. And usually today we're talking about what investments you can make for a rise post Thursday. But with so many coins drained off the game, and yes, maybe people now have an icon on their team that they can maybe play in their starting 11. A lot of people got bad icons though. So they're back at square one or they're just like quitting the game. Um, Thursday rewards this week. One thing that happened last week was everybody was told, Hey, watch out for SBC fodder at weekend league rewards. Watch out for fodder at rewards because it's going to drop with supply. But what happened was it actually dropped heading in to rewards because nobody was buying it and people were actually selling it because they thought it was going to go lower. And then it actually went up after like right away. And there really wasn't a time or a window during rewards where it dropped that much unless you were on right away, got some snipes or were on bids. Um, I think that could be the case even more this week. I don't know how big of a drop we will have in fodder on a Wednesday night tonight into rewards. It depends on the content today on Wednesday. But the only place that I'm interested, there's two places that I'm really interested, maybe three actually, three places that I'm interested 
on Thursday to maybe do some Thursday flips. Place number one is SBC fodder, right? Especially as I look through some of the 85, 86 and above rated players, you see a lot of promo cards in here, right? You see, um, oh, Yarza ball, left wing, immobile. I was an SBC. Um, Where's another one? Oh, the 86 is Jared Moreno's man of the match card. One of the cheapest 86 rated cards. Toko Kami headliner, a stupid on left back. These cards are fluctuating up and down because of SBC solutions. So many people are using these solutions to uh, complete their mid or prime icon player pick that they're looking at these completed challenges and these cards are fluctuating up and down and you can actually SBC solution trade. Now, we haven't talked about this in a long time because it hasn't been like a thing, right? At the year, we always talk about this with non-rare golds, silvers, and rare golds, fluctuation trading with solutions uh, based off of the advanced SBCs. But now it's coming back with this SBC because so many people are going out and doing it and it requires fodder. You take a look at this cheapest squad on the game. KDB is in. If you take a look even at these first few, right? It's all KDB. There's Oblock and KDB. Now, if we take a look at some of the cheapest 91 rated players, yeah, you have De Bruyne, Lewandowski and Oblak kind of up here at the top. But if you click inside of these squads, you can see that there's different players in here. Now, the ones that I like to, to look for are ones that have um, special cards in them. Like I was just pointing out some of those promo teams or promo cards, but you can do this with golds because these SBCs fluctuate around. Like right now, P PlayStation is saying that this squad right here costs 454,000 coins to do. But if you actually go on the market, if you actually go on the market, I bet it costs more because it shows Allison at 117. He might be like 125 because if it's the cheapest solution, people don't actually care about the prices. They just see, oh, this is the cheapest solution. I'll go buy these cards because it's the cheapest. They don't do the research. They don't look at the actual card prices. They end up paying more. So once enough people do that SBC, the prices go up for 10, 20 minutes. Footbin refreshes their prices and oh, this is not the cheapest SBC anymore. Another SBC slides in as the cheapest at the cards that have dropped off because it was once the cheapest solution and now then it went expensive and the cards continually fluctuate. It's not a lot, but if you find the right cards, you can find some fluctuations that you can actually trade in. And if you do it on a mass scale with a lot of coins, there's constant demand for these cards you can make a lot of profit, right? It's just like fluctuation trading with out of pack special cards. When we talk about fluctuation trading with the team of the week cards, with headliners, with freeze items, it's literally the exact same thing. Take a look at some of these cards. Like I was just looking at Raheem Sterling, right? Raheem Sterling, left wing, 76,000 coins. Now, of course, you have like 4K attacks right here. So you got to be mindful of that. Sterling was 71K, went to 76, down to 72, back up to 78, down to 76, and then almost up to 80. So, you know, right now he shows a 76K as one of the cheaper 88s. He might actually be 80K, but then if Flippin updates his price to 80K, he's not going to be one of the cheapest cards and solutions. So people might start under, undercutting him. Not as many people are buying him. He'll drop back down to the mid 70s. And if you find a couple open bids or maybe some snipes in the low 70s, you'll know you'll be able to sell that at 80K or more later as the card naturally fluctuates up as it gets in the cheapest solution. So the most fluctuations I've found have come from cards that are out of packs uh, because of either a team of the week or if it's just a special card, right? Some of these like 89s, um, you've got a David Silva record breaker in there. I don't know how many cheapest solutions he's in. You can do it a lot with these gold cards, but some of the 85s and 86s that are like Oscar, right? The special card that is in packs with less supply than a gold, that could be a card that you see move around a lot on the market. So when we're at rewards this week or we're heading into rewards, there's a lot of people that are waiting on their weekend league and division rivals packs to go out and do uh, this SBC for the mid prime player pick pack. And you know, what we talk about a lot in this game is wherever the hype is, that's where you want to be trading. And those are the cards that you want to be messing around with, right? So um, we want to mess around with this SBC because this SBC is the hype thing right now in FIFA. Like I was just talking about Toko Okambi is one of the cheapest cards on Footbin. He's showing us 42,000 coins and he only has uh, less than 10 cards available under 44K right now. So that will be a card that if you got him, Footbin shows him as cheap right now. He's a couple K up. You know, if you got him earlier today, at like 40, 41,000 coins, you can now probably list it at 45 and get some sales, right? So that's 
kind of that fluctuation trading. But if you see a drop off on these cards for whatever reason, if there's content today that makes golds dip a little bit, let's say a, a tradable pack supply SBC, that would be fire for this market today. Or brand new advanced SBCs or EA like re-upping a league SBC, which I don't think they expire anytime soon. But some sort of tradable supply today on Wednesday would be awesome for this market because it would dip SBC fodder a little bit and that would make people want to go in and possibly do uh, or finish that SBC. And then of course, with rewards, you'll probably see fodder continue to go up after rewards on Thursday tomorrow with more demand and more people wanting to go and finish that icon player pick. Now that's one of the areas I want to talk about for Thursday flipping. One of the other areas I want to talk about is icons, right? Because icons with this market uh, kind of crashing, there's less eyes on this market, a lot of open bids and a lot of fluctuating is happening. Take a look across the base and the mid cards in this game of icons that fluctuate almost every single week. Like these cards are still gonna fluctuate post rewards in my opinion. People are gonna be scared to invest on a normal Thursday flipping week this week. So honestly, if people have submitted a lot of cards from their club into or they sold cards to do that SBC, one would think, hey, this week for Thursday flipping, people are scared to invest. People have sold cards from their club and their team. They're waiting for rewards to see how many coins they have. Then they're gonna go out and possibly buy a team for the weekend. That might be logical. You might have some, that might be a way of thinking for this weekend. So there still could be a little bit of a rise, but all I would say is make sure you're focusing on meta, make sure you're focusing on out of pack specials, icons, or maybe some of the most OP gold cards. Last week, we saw Gold Conte, who wasn't even out of packs yet. We had no idea he was going to be in the promo team. Gold Conte went from like 115, 110,000 coins, actually a little bit more than that, like 115, 120K, all the way up to almost 140. Now, of course, he's out of packs right now, um, but maybe some gold cards, like, I don't know, Mane it seems to be a gold card that rises up a decent amount. I think he's like SBC fodder right now or basically SBC fodder is a 90 rated card, which is nuts to think about. Um, Mane being, yeah, Mane is literally SBC fodder at 120,000 coins. It's crazy, but just kind of keep an eye on a few of these cards because you might see uh, a few of them bounce up in price, whether it's just meta golds, especially some of these meta golds because um, people have lost coins and they might have to use worse players in their team. So maybe you look at the under 250K market today uh, for some of those meta out of pack specials or gold cards that could be a rise post rewards. So I would say fodder, maybe some gold cards and some cheaper out of pack specials. Uh, and then potentially some icons as well, out of packs icons especially, could be cards that go up a little bit after rewards this week. So I'm not gonna point out any specific investments, but you guys know which ones are meta. You know which players you see a lot in Weekend League um, for special cards and stuff like that. Those would be the ones that I would look for and look into for a slight rise um, as they are you know needed for some weekend league teams this weekend now that's enough talk about thursday let's talk uh, today a little bit towards the end of this video i know i've been rambling for a while but let's talk about it team of the week predictions we're getting a new team of the week today um there's a couple cards that have made predictions that are very interesting of course gareth bale i have two ones to watch on my transfer list we're hoping that he gets a special card goretzka head headliner is high still ruben diaz potential team of the week usman dembele i know he's in foot heads prediction Pepe is in the prediction as well. This prediction looks okay. There's a lot of like cards that are in here. Um, even this uh, this guy right here, the 84 rated striker from the Eredivisie. There's some Eredivisie hype after the new milestone objectives today and the Leroy Fair SBC. That might be a card that could be a bit expensive because of those new links. Uh, there's not a huge, huge like star. Like of course, Gareth Bale's a big name. Usman Dembele, Goretzka, big names. But last week we had Ronaldo and we had Rashford. So this week it looks like we might not have a big star like that. Some people have said Messi team of the week. I think we're predicting Messi player of the month. Foot Bin has got Messi and Mbappe in team of the week. I don't know uh, where Foot Bin's getting their team league predictors because we just had Mbappe in man of the match. I really, really doubt that they would go Mbappe man of the match and Mbappe team of the week. Although he did have a hat trick, I guess it's possible I'm not sure how I feel about that one. And Messi hasn't gotten in for him for a hat trick before. And he had one goal last weekend with a player of the month coming. Do they really give him an in for him? I'm not sure unless they really want to stack the team of the week because they want to make people open packs. I could see that actually with the amount of people that have drained clubs. There's really, a, if they want to give extra demand for opening FIFA points, they could 
snag or put one of those messies in team of the week this week who knows uh but then Goretzka headliner is in here and then Gareth Bale wants to watch so a couple things to watch today on Wednesday are the what if cards and some of these live items right Gareth Bale uh if he does get a special card you will see his ones to watch. I have a couple of them in like 169, 170,000 coins. I think there's still potential. Wow, 158. What's going on here, man? It's actually crazy because his bail cards, so many people are holding it. Check out the supply. Check out the supply. Now, I think there's a bit of a flipping market glitch going on here, but he's actually down 10K. I think people are actually cashing out on this. Um, he was like 180 early in the week before the SBC. Now it looks like, looks like he's dipping a little bit down lower. So we might lose a little bit of coins here. Um, for people that are potentially selling this, or maybe they have a leak for team of the week and he's not in um, right there. But the Goretzka card is a headliner that you would want to keep your eyes on today. Now, of course, I'm a bit skeptical. Again, I've said that word multiple times now, but you know, Goretzka three assists, does he actually get upgraded? I'm not sure. This, this would go to an 89 rated card. It would look sick. Um, but I feel like a lot of people have invested in that. And also today, Holland should finally get upgraded to a 90 rated card. Um, because he, on Wednesdays is when they upgrade these, uh, headliner cards to, uh, update with any other special cards that have come out. So instead of instantly updating them, like I think they've done in the past, now they just upgrade them on Wednesdays. So this will go to a 90 rated card today. Um, it was about 700 coins. He was down at like 610 today. He scored a goal in the cup match. So he's up just a smidge. Keep an eye on that card today. And then 100%. Keep an eye on these what ifs. I've been talking about these what if cards today because we have four cards today that play games. Perea, Marcelo, Smalling, and Le Melu all have games today. Le Melu is somebody who I have some of on my transfer list. And it's just kind of, it's just kind of like those ones to watch cards or those even road to the finals where you can either sell pre-game, which is the quote unquote safe route. But a lot of these cards haven't risen up that much. They've been invested in, but they haven't moved that much because there's just, um, I think right now, there's just so many people that are constantly selling some of these cards as well that it's just not letting the cards prices rise. I'm curious to see today with Le Malou playing um, and Nice playing with Nimes, right? I might sell a couple of these pre-game, right? Your risk is with somebody, with one of these attackers or midfielders, they have to keep scoring goals. So if you don't see goals right away, you're probably going to see that card kind of trickle off into the game. And of course, Nice is on three goals right now. So maybe if they score more goals during the match and they score early, you might see this card kind of rise up as it gets closer to the upgrade. But then of course, for the defenders, I think this Marcelo is like at 110. He's at 123. Keep an eye on those defenders because they'll probably rise up into the game and Smalling today too, because Roma are playing in the league. And if they keep that clean sheet for an extended amount of time, as it gets closer to the end of the game, you'll probably see that card rise up in price. So you can do the safe route and sell pregame or sell early on in the game, or maybe try to risk it for a little bit and sell when like a first goal is scored for an attacker or a midfielder, or um, you know, maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes into the game where there's still a clean sheet for Roma. So kind of keep your eye on that. But I also think that these cards are a bit invested in. And again, everybody's worried about trying to make coins right now. I think these were suggested as a lot of investments to a lot of people. Of course, if Nice come, come out and put three goals through today, he's going to an 88 rated car and you're going to see him spike up um, before he would drop back down from people selling their investments. But I would just be careful today because I think there is a bit of overinvesting on these what if cards. I have a Sancho that I bought at 1.4 and this card seriously is so rare that whenever this hype dies and, and a Dortmund play again, this guy is going to be skying up in price because he has like no supply. But there's so many listings that are under like 1.55 mil. This card's actually really rare, but he's being held low because people keep undercutting. And I'm just kind of waiting for uh, this weekend when Dortmund, look at this, 1.6 mil and there's only, right now he's 1.36. There's only two pages at 1.6 mil. Now, of course, we do have rewards tomorrow and Thursday. So I'm probably going to be cashing out. Again, Sancho and Dortmund don't play today. They played yesterday and it didn't count for any goals that would have counted for an upgrade on this card anyway. But um, that's one thing I want you guys to keep in mind is these what ifs could get packed tomorrow on Thursday during rewards. So we'll take a look at that situation. And especially the way the market has gone this week, um, I think that they could be investable during rewards. And uh, maybe we'll make a separate video on that. But 
I think that for right now, I'm going to cash them out today on Wednesday and wait until later to see what happens with these cards. Now, hopefully today we have somebody keep a clean sheet. I'm really hoping that Smalling or Marcelo could keep a clean sheet today um, because I, I want to see these cards get upgraded. And, and we think that a lot of them should get upgraded. Um, I just want to see it, though. I want to see Smalling back at 800K uh, as a 90 rated card. That'd be kind of cracked and kind of nuts. But, of course, we have to see that in-game performance before we do see that. And then last things last, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but we did get a Leroy Fair SBC, which to be honest, from EA Sports, this is a big GG, right? The Air Divisie this year has got so many special cards. If you're an Air Divisie or like a Dutch fan, you're loving it, right? You're loving it. This card's gonna be Hullet Gang. Once he gets upgraded, which he should get enough goals to get upgraded pretty soon, which will be fun to see. And uh, it's 80K, right? It's really cheap. Maybe it's not the most meta card in the game, but give this guy a plus two, chuck him at center back. That's a really cracked out looking card. Links to the Sensi Argentinian center back from Feyenoord. Uh, and then, of course, Kleiber, Robin, some nice uh, Promes. Some other um, links are inflated, like the Promes wrote to the final. That card literally never stops moving, right? Every time you think it's done in the mud, he like comes back and something crazy happens. So, again, man of the match cards do go out of packs today at 6 p.m. And, of course, we do get a new team of the week. Keep an eye on some of these man of the matches because they have been invested in, like Kabak. Um, and EA still have not added the filter for the man of the match cards. But uh, Deli Ali and Holland specifically, and even Mbappe, uh, even though right now the market's just in a really, it's in a really, really weird place, um, I would say keep an eye on these cards because they're rare. And uh, people will be looking into maybe buying up some of these 280 right now for Holland. If I would see like 270 in the morning, I mean, this card's probably going to be 300k plus just because of how rare he is in the next couple of days. So I don't mind this as a buy. Um, I don't buy, mind the Mbappe as a buy if you're trying to get Mbappe's down in like the low, the low twos. If you're on PlayStation, I think um, Mbappe is somewhere in the range of like 2.2 where he was under 2.2 for a hot second today. So just keep an eye on those cards. Deli Alley at like 45K is a good buy too. Got good links, of course, English links. But there's a lot going on with this market right now. And the market to me, there's still some areas that are too high in price. And I think that will fall. Some of those what if cards are a bit invested in. And it's going to get interesting today and tonight into rewards. So if you want to keep on top of it, we'll be live on Twitch during the day today. Check that link down below in the description. Check the TikTok as well. We've had some good TikToks going up over the past couple of days if you're on that app. Make sure to get involved there. And of course, if you like this video, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.